So how is your commute to work this morning? Well, consider this in our Treading Water series. Metro Vancouver's affordability crisis has pushed some paramedics to regularly travel for hours just to get to work. As Bell Peary from CBC Vancouver's Impact Team reports, they simply can't afford to work and live in the city. At the end of a 12-hour shift, home for Mark Creighton is a spare bedroom at a relative's place. I would love to go home and to see my wife and everybody, but it's, it's the price I pay to do the job. Creighton lives in Parksville, but works in Vancouver. Shift rotations mean he spends four days on the island and four days on the mainland. Depending on traffic and ferry conditions, Creighton can travel up to six hours at a time, but he says it's worth it. The cost of living here versus the cost of living in Parksville, it, it's, it's not even comparable. Nearly 200 BC paramedics who work full-time in Metro Vancouver live as far away as Vancouver Island or the Okanagan. We found housing options were pretty unaffordable for us. Melanie Stevens is a paramedic, so is her husband. They live in Kelowna with their three children and know all about commuting to Vancouver for work. Definitely affordability at the coast is a big issue. Uh, our salaries can't keep pace with inflation and housing in Vancouver. We just have no way to do that. A full-time primary care paramedic with three years experience makes $74,000 a year. After 25 years of experience, that wage increases to $77,000. The cost of living and the housing costs and all those things that have happened in, in the GVRD, if you went, or the lower mainland, I think that our struggles and choices have been directly proportional to that. Another reason paramedics are forced to commute is the location of full-time jobs. Busier centres, of course, have higher call volumes, so it stands to reason that 85% of all full-time paramedic jobs in the province are here in Metro Vancouver. And to make it work, those who commute, they live in campers, RVs and shared apartments. Paramedics call them haciendas. People will rent an apartment and share it between different platoons and different shifts and it just cuts the the cost of the rent down significantly because instead of just one person renting it there's like eight people renting it. BC Emergency Health Services says provisions in the latest collective agreement with paramedics should create more full-time jobs outside of the lower mainland. In Courtney, Chandra Coons has been waiting for a job close to her husband and children for nine years. Instead the travel to Vancouver has taken its toll. The commuting costs were getting to be a bit too much, so I, I only come home every other block now. I stay in Vancouver for 12 days, and then I come home for three, and then I go back for 12, and then home for three. Outside of the box, remedies for many are the only way to make ends meet. Mm. Bell Puri, CBC News, Vancouver.